Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a declutter of eye miscellaneous products. So this is literally every kind of eye product apart from palettes, because I did that in my last declutter. Single eyeshadows, liquid eyeshadows, lashes, mascaras, brow products, liners, primers, all of that. Like we've got we've got all different kinds of eye products. It's gonna be quite crazy i can definitely get rid of 50 percent of this i possibly might even get rid of more 50 percent, i think it's gonna be an easy goal it's an achievable goal <laughs> let's begin with brow products so i've kind of separated them into different categories the first thing in there was was this pair of tweezers by sonia kashuk i'm gonna keep these because i love that they're gold um i don't reach for them very often i hardly pluck, pluck my eyebrows these days but if i do i need a pair of tweezers eyebrow pencils i have a couple of favorites probably my ultimate favorite is actually the bh cosmetics one but i've run out of those so i would repurchase that but i just don't have any in my collection right now i'm gonna get rid of this ColourPop one in the shade dope taupe didn't really love that one i'm gonna keep the elf brow pencil i think this is also in the shade taupe this is actually really really nice it's slightly thicker the elf one is definitely you can see a little bit thicker it's not a micro pencil but it's also not like super fat as well and it's a really really nice tone so i'm definitely keeping that one i have two of these canadian pencils that my lovely friend tammy sent over i adore the marcel nano brow pencil in fair ash blonde so i'm going to keep that but i'm going to declutter this annabelle one in universal taupe i didn't like this one quite as much and then i have two of these etude house drawing eyebrow slims in the shade gray brown i'm not quite sure why i have two again they're a little skinny brow pencil and the color gray brown is really nice and cool tone so i'm going to keep those to use those up then we have like brow powders and inky pens <laughs> i don't know if this is really a category but i'm going to get rid of the benefit foolproof brow powder i didn't really enjoy this and i just don't really like brow powders like this very much anymore except for this this is the mac shape and shade in the shade taupe on one end it's like a felt tip and on the other end it's a kind of like a brow powder pen sort of thing and it's awesome i love this end i actually love both ends but the felt tip side does run out a lot faster so i'm only keeping this to use up this end and i'm going to get rid of these two products we've got the maybelline tattoo studio um brow pen sort of thing in 350 blonde i just found this to be not a very good product actually it didn't really do what i wanted it to do and it looked quite warm on my brows um as well as this etude house four tip brows i just didn't really enjoy that it's a bit too wide for my brows although it's a really good stain it always stains my hand whenever i swatch it then we have brow gels. I'm gonna keep my Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I love this and I even have a backup. So I'm gonna keep both of those. I have a bunch of these Essence Make Me Brows. <laughs> I've got four of them, that's crazy. I've got three colors actually. Um, I didn't, I thought these were the same, but I've got blondie brows, soft brownie brows, and brownie brows, <laughs> such weird names. Um, I think I might get rid of the brownie brows one. They're a bit dark for my brow hairs I th oh maybe i'll just keep one mm. but i actually use this color though it's just too dark so i'm going to get rid of the brownie brows ones and i'm going to keep both of these the blondie brows and the soft brownie brows i'm going to get rid of my benefit gimme brows as well i've got shades one and three i just prefer the essence ones over these i'm going to keep this marcel perfect brow this is an amazing product it's a tinted brow gel and it's got a really really like teeny tiny wand on it so it's super accurate and i've got all these other ones that i don't really reach for i'm definitely going to get rid of this urban decay brow tamer i've had this for so long it's kind of gone a bit gross so i'm going to get rid of that honestly i think i'm just going to get rid of all of these because i pretty much use my benefit one on a daily basis unless i want a tinted plumping brow gel in which case i've got the essence and the marcel one so i think i will get rid of these as well hourglass arch brow and soft brunettes designer brands brow power tinted brow gel i actually i like these products i just have too many i won't get through them this is in the shade taupe it's a dupe for the hourglass one it's actually really good the color pop brow boss gel this is in the shade clear i kind of liked how this was almost like soap brows but it does leave a little bit of a white kind of cast two brows which i didn't love and then the l'oreal brow artist plumper i feel like this was good back in the day and now that lots of companies have brow gels it's not as good as other ones and then finally we have like pomades and sort of creams and liquid sort of brow products i'm gonna get rid of my benefit cub brow this is in the shade two i believe this has gone a bit hard yeah you can kind of see it's like sort of shrunk in there so it's definitely dried out a bit and it doesn't work as well it was always a bit of a firmer drier pomade anyway 
and I've just had it for so long, so it needs to go. I'm gonna keep my e.l.f. brow kit in Ash. This is my favorite brow sort of gel product to use, especially if I've just had my hair done and it's quite blonde, because <laughs> this is one of the lightest colors I have in the shade Ash. It's a really beautiful undertone, so I'm gonna keep that. But I think I will get rid of the e.l.f. lock-on liner and brow cream in the shade light brown. I just don't really reach for this, and the color's a little bit warmer. I'm gonna keep my Anastasia Dip Brow in Blonde. Even though this has firmed up a little bit, it's certainly not as soft as when I first got it, it's actually still very workable. I've been using it quite a bit lately, and it's nice to have a pomade that will give me a really sharp, intense brow for like, stage and performing and stuff. I'm gonna get rid of my Chi Chi Brow Pomade, which is pretty much a dupe for the Anastasia Dip Brow in Blonde. Love this product, but it just doesn't last. You see how it's like kind of dried up so much and there's like a big like gap around the side and this is like completely hard. It's not even really workable anymore. So I'm going to get rid of that product because it's just, I've had it for a couple of years. I've got the BH Studio Pro and I can't remember which one I liked better out of the BH Cosmetics one or the designer brands one. I think I might keep this BH Cosmetics Studio one in the shade Blonde and I'll declutter this designer brands one. They're very similar. <laughs> Um, and then I have two sort of cushion brow products. This is the Revolution Pro Eyebrow Cushion in Blonde. I was really excited about this product, but it's actually so dry. There was hardly any pigment in it when I got it, so it didn't really work at all. So I'm gonna get rid of that, sadly. And then I've got the Iconic London Sculpt and Boost Eyebrow Cushion, and this is in the shade Fair. This is actually a handy little product because it comes with a brush and a spoolie. It like folds out. It's actually quite a cool little packaging with the mirror. And then the products in there. I actually really like this product. I don't love this warm colored side, but I like the non warm colored side. And it's a waterproof brow product. So it's quite handy for like summertime when I'm swimming and stuff a lot, if I'm on holiday. So I actually think I might keep that. It can be kind of a very specific use product. <laughs> but anyway, that's good. So that's all the brow products I'm keeping. I pretty much have halved them. 11, 12, 13. So I'm keeping 14 and I'm getting rid of 19 products. This is gonna be a very long video, so I'm trying so hard to be speedy. Quickly whip through eyeshadow primers. I believe these are all the ones that I have. <sighs> okay, I hardly ever use eyeshadow primer to begin with. What is this Essence one like? Does it still smell good? Because I actually do quite like that one. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this. The Essence Eye Heart Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. It's got a nice sort of soft, almost concealer-y sort of pigment to it, so it helps to counteract blueiness on the eyelids. And I wanna keep my NARS primer, cause it's actually really good as well. Which one, do I wanna keep the original or the tinted? I think cause I'm keeping the Essence tinted one, I'll get rid of the tinted NARS one and keep the original. Um, these Urban Decay primer potions I'll get rid of. I just don't really reach for them. Um, I haven't really even tried this Bare Minerals primer. Ooh, it's quite pigmented. It's in the shade Exposed, it's the Gen Nude Primer. I think I'll pass it on to a friend. And then I've got the Smashbox and the Milani eyeshadow primer. I haven't actually really used the Smashbox one, so I actually wanna keep that and try it out, see whether I like it. And the Milani one is really good, but at the same time, I really don't know, actually at the end of the day, whether, well that seems like a dupe for the Smashbox one. It seems very similar. Maybe I'll hold on to that as well, just in case. So I'm getting rid of four primers and keeping four. Okay, lol, I just discovered all of these brow pencils and products in my eyeliner box, because clearly they get very easily confused. Wow, that is insane. That means my brow collection was just overflowing. You know what, I don't even think I'd like keep any of these. I'm definitely gonna get rid of these Lancome Monsieur Big Brow products. These are awful. <laughs> I hate these sorts of things, like jumbo pencils. They just don't get along with my shape of my brow. So get rid of those. I have this random little like, I guess it's like a brow powder brush, but no, I don't need that, it's from Benefit. So I have two of the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencils. I'm not gonna keep these because I have those other ones that I really love. And I'll also get rid of the Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. Just to reiterate, I think the Precisely My Brow is a good product. I just think the ones that I'm keeping are better and cheaper. So my favorite Benefit brow product by far is definitely that Clear Brow Gel. I haven't found anything better than that. But this Brow Contour Pro, it's very nostalgic because it reminds me of those pens we all had in primary school, but it just doesn't, it's not good for me. The um, actual brow color is quite nice, but none of the other shades really work for me. Pass that one on, and I actually have a very similar product from I Heart Revolution. Actually, I think this might be an eyeliner pen, but I found this kind of average. 
So I'm going to get rid of that too. I have another ColourPop brow pencil. This is in the shade Blonde. I think this was the one that was like even worse a color. It was like really, really warm toned. So get rid of that. I don't even think I've tried this Essence one. It's just a basic pencil liner, a brow pencil, but I'll get rid of that. It doesn't look quite like my color. This Australis brow pencil in the shade Light Brown was pretty average. Pony Blossom Lasting Eyeshadow, Eyebrow Pencil, sorry, in 01 Ash Brown was okay, but I don't feel like I need to hold on to it. Um, same with the Designer Rooms Absolute Brow Pencil. I actually really liked this for quite a long time, but I've kind of moved back towards liking a skinny brow pencil over these fatter triangular shape so yeah I'm gonna pass that one on I did like the formula but it's just the shape I'm preferring skinny brow pencils again and then these flower beauty um, brow pens were just terrible did not really enjoy these I wanted to I really want something to dupe that Mac shape and shade but I just can't but it's all right I'm gonna get rid of those <laughs> okay then we have liquid liners and a token gel liner because I don't really use gel liner for that very reason I'll just get rid of this off the bat this is the designer brands gel liner this is just not a sort of product um that I tend to reach for so I don't need it in my collection I'm going to get rid of these tweezers these are some pretty old ones and I prefer those gold ones that I kept dolly wink eyeliners in black and brown I love this eyeliner it's a really good dupe for the Kat Von D tattoo liner so I'm going to keep those and on that note I'm going to get rid of my Kat Von D ones you guys know I'm trying to move Kat Von D out of my collection anyway but also these are about a year and a half maybe two years old so they're pretty inspired definitely time to move on out the reality is they're a great product but I think I've found lots of dupes that are just as good so I just don't need to keep these anymore like the physician's formula eye booster I've got ultra black and deep brown these are really nice they do perhaps run a tiny bit if your eyes water but if you're not a teary eyed person or you don't cry a lot <laughs> then I'd highly recommend them because the brush tip on this is beautiful and they've got really nice sort of weight about them as well like they're, they're just a nice packaging I'm gonna get rid of this <laughs> What is this? The Rimmel Ink Me Stamp Tattoo. This is literally like a star. Like why would I have that in my collection? When have you ever seen me walking around with like stars on my eyes? No. This exact sort of product is why I want to cut back on how much PR I get. Because I get sent stuff like this and I'm like, when would I use this? <laughs> It's just not me. I'm so basic. I'm gonna keep the Fenty Beauty fly liner. It's not actually my favorite. I definitely prefer the Physicians Formula One and the Dolly Wink ones because they are a brush liner. The Fenty Beauty one is a pretty good felt tip liner and it is quite new and oh, the packaging's pretty so I'm gonna hold on to that one. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of these pony liners. I didn't like these as much as the Dolly Wink ones but they were still quite nice. They are a brush tip again if you were interested. I've got black and brown. These McQueen liners as well in black and brown. They're again another sort of good Kat Von D dupe but I do think the Dolly Wink ones and the Physicians Formula ones are superior and I just won't get through that much liquid liner. I don't wear it as often these days. This is the Ico I do liquid liner. It's a very, very fat sort of felt tip, which felt tips aren't my favorite to begin with. And the fact that it's super fat is just not my cup of tea. I'm gonna get rid of this makeup design eyeliner. It's just a brand that I, ugh, I just don't reach for that. I'm gonna get rid of this Stella oh, Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner just cause it's quite old. I've had this around for a long time. It is a felt liner as well. I definitely prefer brush, but for a felt liner, this is probably the best one that I've ever found on the market, which is why I'm gonna keep this color. This is the same product, but in the shade Intense Labradi Labradorite. Okay, it's a nice sort of like soft gray charcoal color and I don't have anything else like that So I'm gonna keep that and then I've got this mini Ico one Which I'll get rid of because I just got rid of the big size and don't enjoy it I think I'll get rid of this. This is the Maybelline hyper sharp wing I nearly kept it, but it just actually isn't as good as like say the physician's formula one which is also a drugstore that was my only reason why i was like well, maybe i should keep this but it's okay it just bleeds a little bit i love the brush tip on it though the formula is a little bit too thin so that was very good i probably got rid of like i don't know i'd say there are at least i probably got rid of about two thirds of those and i'm keeping six so two brown liners three black ones and a sort of gray which is good okay pencil liners and a random lid where are you from this guy Let's separate out the Zoeva graphic eyes. They're one of my favorites and they, there are a few of those. Okay, so starting out with these Annabelle liners, I have two, I've got champagne and beige. Beige is the slightly deeper matte color and champagne is the slightly lighter, a little bit more like a sort of satin. It's got a bit of a sheen to it. 
I actually really like both of these. I don't have too many nude liners. So I think I'll keep these. And my Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencils I'm going to keep. I've got the shade Silky Nude, which is a really beautiful nude waterline color. And the black is really nice. Such a great formula. I'm not even sure if they sell these anymore, which is even more reason for me to hold on to them. But I think I'll get rid of this Marcel liner. This is actually a purple liner. I don't wear any sort of colored liner that's not a variation of nude, beige, brown, or black. So I'm going to get rid of this purple one. And I've got all these designer brands liners, which is the same deal. They're all really bold sort of colors. And a lot of them are not even open, so I can donate them, which is great. But I think I will keep the black one because I want to try it out. I haven't actually tried the formula yet. I like the fact that these are like little wind-up liners. That's really handy. <gasps> That's a beautiful brown. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to keep chocolate shard. And I'll keep the black as well because I'm sure that will be just as good a formula. And it's always handy to have black liners around. And then I have some more drugstore liners. This NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I'm going to get rid of these ColourPop gel liners. I didn't really love these all that much. This Flower Beauty eyeliner in the shade Brownstone. I actually really liked this. Yeah, and it's a nice matte brown. I think I'll keep that. And this Chi Chi eye brightener, I would have kept, except as you can see, I well and truly used up the matte side, which is the side that I like. So I'm actually going to get rid of this because it's pretty much, ew, it's like crumbling. Um, it's, it's done for. But I will repurchase it because it's one of my favorite nude liners of all time. Um, what do I do about this? I haven't kept a white liner, so maybe I should keep the NYX Jumbo Pencil in case I ever want a white liner. And this can double up as a good eyeshadow primer if I want a white base because I didn't keep one of those. So I will keep that. And then I have some like more high-end liners. So I've got this NARS one, which I've been using at the moment. But I don't, I don't love it. And considering I'm looking in and seeing that I've got the Essence liner, the Designer Brands black liner, I think I'll just get rid of this. It was a gift in the Mecca boxes and I've been using it a lot lately because my Zoeva liner is pretty much at its real end. It's the larger than life eyeliner. It's very famous, but I just find it a little bit less pigmented than other liners I've tried. So I might get rid of that one. This little Sephora waterproof liner. I think I remember trying this and not liking it. It wasn't very pigmented. Creamy. Actually, I'll keep that. It's a nice travel pencil. So this is the Naked Double Ender Pencil. I'm not even sure if they sell this anymore, but it's got Crave and Venus. So Venus is a beautiful shimmery champagne and Crave is obviously like a black. So I'll keep that because it's quite handy for travel having double ended. And then I've got the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner. This is in Vivid Smoky Quartz. This was sent to me in PR. <gasps> it's a nice brown. Okay. I'm going to keep that too. Then I have my Zoeva Graphic Eyes, which are probably one of my favorite like brands of um, eyeliner, but I don't think I need to keep all these colors. So <gasps> my Black to Earth eye pencil is like done for like the actual pigment has fallen out and it is so teeny tiny i can't really keep sharpening it so i think it's time to say goodbye you serve me well girl but i will keep glance which as you can see is also quite small i've really sharpened this down but i think you know the lead's still good in there so i'll give it a sharpen and i can still get a bit more use out of that then we have the shades mute nude reflection myth and taupe i think i'll get rid of mute because i've got a similar color to that it's like a soft olivey sort of gray and taupe oh that's pretty and very unique Ooh, yeah i'll keep taupe don't have something else like that and then myth is the shimmery champagne yeah i'll keep those as well i just love the formula so that's all the pencil liners that i'm keeping and all the other products are going. So far, all the other products I'm keeping are just fitting in this one teeny tiny box, which is awesome. Next, we're whipping through single eyeshadows. I'm gonna start with these little Juvia's eyeshadows. These, I just don't really have a home for them. They are really pretty eyeshadows, but I don't like the fact that I have to keep them in their little boxes because I don't really have a spare palette. And the colors themselves as well are not like super me. They're a bit warmer tones than I like. So I will have to get rid of those. Um, as well as, I think this is a ColourPop shadow. Yeah, this is a little ColourPop shadow in high strung. For the same reason, again, I'm just going to have to pass that one on. My favorite single press shadows are the NARS ones. So they're the ones I'm going to pretty much keep. There are some in this I can get rid of. So Bali is one of my most used shades. It's a really beautiful medium cool toned brown. Mekong. I don't think I've used this much. Ooh, but it's a shimmery brown. Damn it. I love these so much. Ganges. 
Gangers. Oh, no, I'll get rid of that. So it's like a peacock blue. Up my style. Verona. This is a shade I bought recently. It's a really pretty, almost like shimmery soft lilac. Gorgeous. I should probably swatch some of these. I'll swatch this one. The other two are just like brown. Yeah, I don't know if you can see. It's very subtle. It's like almost like just gives your eye an, a wet look. Very pretty. And the other thing I love about these is that you can depop them really easily. They're like magnetic... So they just slot in. Really handy if you have a larger palette or something you want to be able to take them out to travel with. We've got Fez, which I think I'll get rid of. That's quite a warm toned copper. And I've got a color like that probably somewhere in my eyeshadow palettes. And I just don't reach for this one. Galapagos. Again, a beautiful shimmery brown. But I think if I'm keeping Mekong, which would I use more? Yeah. Mekong is a tiny bit cooler. So I'll keep that one and get rid of Galapagos. I'm gonna keep Cashmere, again, one of my most used shades, as you can see. This is so, so pretty. It's like, almost reminds me of like MAC Satin Taupe, like from back in the day. So pretty. I think I'll get rid of this. Tullam, I kept this because that color, just to look at, is absolutely stunning. It's like a caramel. I think the Anna edit would absolutely die over this. It is so pretty, but this is not my coloring. As you can see with my skin tone, it just doesn't work. So I need to pass that one on. I don't want to butcher it. So this is the one we're looking at now. Ooh. It's like a shimmery silver, but would I actually use that? <gasps> it's kind of nice though. I love how it swatches, it's beautiful, but I just do not wear silver eyeshadow. And I'm sure one of my many palettes that I've kept will have something similar if I ever need it, like say at Christmas time. And this color, Kingston, my absolute favorite. It's a beautiful neutral crease color. Looks really good as contour on the face as well. So definitely keeping that. And then I've got this duo. So it's not a single as such, but it's a little duo. I'm going to get rid of this because I don't actually really use it. This gray is not actually really my cup of tea. Um, and this shimmery sort of shade is a bit nothingless really. I'm going to keep my pencil sharpener benefit one. Actually that should go with liners. It's really good because it's got a big side and a small side. I'm going to get rid of this little Dear Dahlia teeny tiny little like eyeshadow duo thing. And it's got like a cream color on the other side. Didn't really get along with that. Have some little like single pot shadows. So I'm definitely keeping my Australis Metallics eyeshadow. It's one of my absolute favorites. It is so beautiful metallic. If you guys remember the Stila Magnificent Metals sort of pot shadows from back in the day. I don't even know if they make them anymore because they make these um, glitter shadows now. But this is what this product is a dupe for. And it's so stunning. I've got this Chanel... Ombre Premier eyeshadow in silver screen. This is quite a new product to me. It's a really pretty kind of almost olivey taupe. Actually a little bit grungier on the eye than I expected, but it could be good for more evening looks. So I'm gonna keep that. I didn't even remember I had this. There have been a few, a few Canadian products I've stumbled across that I didn't use in my Canadian video, which I kind of wish I had. I forgot that I had this. It's a chrome sort of paint product. The only thing with this is that it's a real true like rose gold and I'm not sure if that is actually quite my cup of tea on the eye. Even though it appears to be such a beautiful cream shadow, I think I might pass it on because it's just a little bit too sort of rosy. And we've got this Mecca Max, the Illuminati. These are again all the same kind of sort of cream shadow. I think, ooh, ooh. See that one is a little bit more champagne gold and that could be really nice for like Christmas time. I love how I say that. And I go to like one Christmas party every year, maybe, <laughs> if I'm lucky. What is this one? The Beauty People. I think this is a Korean brand. At least I know I got it off Yes Style. <gasps> what? What? <laughs> this is fun. Um, that's insane. I might hold on to that for my, like when I finally get around to doing like a K-Beauty video. Yeah, Made in Korea. This is in the color Woodlight. That is pretty. Not sure it's quite right on my eyes. I haven't tried it yet, so I have to try that one. Oh my gosh, I'm absolutely covered in glitter. I need a new wet wipe. By the way, I'm aware how um, wasteful wet wipes are, but I'm trying to use up my backlog of wipes, um, and then I won't be buying them anymore, but just FYI. Well, that's quite pretty. Now, I think I'll keep it. I've done so good on my declutter today. I'm allowed to keep a few things for you know, a bit of variety. Um, righty, I'm gonna get rid of these Makeup Geek pigments. I don't even know why I've kept these. I don't think I've used them once on my eyes. They are just not my cup of tea. A loose pigment, can't be bothered with that when there are products like these stealer ones. Five, six, six. 
We've got six of the Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glows and four of the Shimmer and Glows. So let's start with the Glitter and Glows. Here we go. So those are those six shadows. Gold Goddess, Diamond Dust, Kitten Karma, Ballet Baby, Smoky Storm and Fairy Tail. Super pretty. I think I'm going to get rid of these two middle ones. Kitten Karma is a little bit too warm tone for me and I actually have the Kitten Shimmer and Glow version over here which I much 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 prefer. It's less intense and sort of warm toned. I don't know. It just suits my skin a lot better. And Ballet Baby is not... I just haven't used Ballet Baby in like the longest time. It's, it's not quite as glittery as the other ones which I used to love because it was a bit more subtle but now that I've tried the Shimmer and Glows this is the kind of product that I'd reach for over the ballet baby one so those two i'm gonna get rid of i'm gonna keep the other four because these are by far my favorite like glitter eyeshadows and then we have some of the shimmer and glows i've got one full size in the shade vivid garnet i don't think that this is really my sort of cup of tea i wouldn't reach for such an intensely pigmented um liquid shadow i'd rather use a powder so i'm gonna get rid of that i've got my maybelline burgundy palette that i kept my palette declutter so that's got those sort of colors in it definitely keeping kitten this is one of the most beautiful shimmery champagne shades you can see it's a lot more champagne than rose gold cloud is a really beautiful kind of similar color but it's like got more of a lilac sort of undertone to it and i really enjoy that too this shade i don't think i've tried really twig again looks quite deep oh, but it's more brown I think I'll get rid of Twig. As beautiful as that is, I've got those NARS single shadows and as I said, I prefer actually lighter colors for liquid sort of shadows and if I'm going to go dark, I'll prefer to use a powder. Okay, then we have some random like liquid and cream sort of shadows. These color tattoos in eye chromes. I think I'll get rid of Gilded Rose because I just... That one's a bit meh. Really remember what I think of the formula of these, so I need to try them again. I'm gonna get rid of this um, liquid cat suit, Wet n Wild, Pure in Intention. This just wasn't a very good formula for me. I just didn't find it lasted very well on my eyes. Um, I've got the Stila Metal Shock eyeshadow in the shade Stars and Stories. This is a pretty good dupe for like the Stila Shimmer and Glows, but I'm not sure. Nah. I don't need to keep it. I've not reached for that in well over a year. I've got these Etude House Bling Bling Eye Sticks, which I just didn't really get along with. I thought they'd be kind of good dupes for this like By Terry Ombre Black Star, but they're very lightly pigmented and they just don't really, they don't do that much. They're a bit of a chunky formula. So I'll get rid of those. I love the formula of this By Terry one. It's a quite a nice bronzy color that I tend to wear more in summer. And then I've got this little L'Oreal eye paint in the shade Eternal White. I remember not really loving the formula from memory. <laughs> it's hard to keep track, but I don't need to keep it. It's fine. So those are all the kind of single eyeshadows and like liquid shadows that I'm keeping. What are we down to? The last category, lashes. So we have lashes and mascara in here. Starting with lashes, I'm gonna get rid of these little single lashes from Ardell. I don't really get along with this kind of product. I'm also gonna pass on these Nikia Joy lashes. A lot of her lashes are quite bold and a little bit too much for me. These are Crystal Conti's Quartz Beauty Lashes, which I love. There is a specific type in here. These ones, the Jade Lashes, which are my favorite because they're really small, so they're really nice and natural, but they just give you that boost. This is a pair that I've already used. So I've got a backup of that. I've got a couple backups as well. Yeah, so I'm going to keep these three jade lashes. Let's see what these other ones... I mean, the thing that I love about Crystal's line is that they are all very fluffy and wearable. And sometimes I do want something a bit more dramatic. So I'm going to keep all her lashes because I want to try all the styles. And then these two I'm going to keep as well because I ordered these specifically from Exo Beauty. These are the... Prima Donna lashes, which are probably my favorite pair from Shannon at the moment. They're a really nice dramatic style to wear, like if I'm doing like stage makeup, because they're quite sort of thick on the outside and sort of just add a lot of length and flutteriness, but not too dense. And then mascaras, heaps in here that I can get rid of. I'm gonna get rid of this Mecca Max Eye Max Power Couple mascara. This is just way too old. All three of these Anika mascaras I didn't really get along with. I mean, they are like vegan, organic, Mascaras, it's actually really, really hard to make a good formula with that kind of restriction, in my opinion. I think, I mean, these did a pretty good job. Like if I had to use these only, it would be fine. I could probably make them work, but they're not my favorite. So I'd rather just get rid of them because I won't reach for them now. I'm gonna pass on the L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic Mascara, which is, I think the same one as the, oh, there's a different name for it in the US, but 
it's that one that's like the dupe for the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Like it's got that same kind of thick wand. This actually made my eyes really cloudy. Like it's almost like my eyes reacted with it. So I've never used it since. Um, and I got told that's a really, really bad sign. So I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna get rid of this Essence I Heart Extreme Curl and Volume Mascara. These kind of wands just I hate these kinds of wands. I'm gonna get rid of this Anika Skinny Waterproof Microchara. A lot of people like this, but this for me, um, I didn't enjoy. I think it was really smudgy from memory. One of my favorite mascaras that's not here is the Benefit Roller Lash. I have run out of it, but that is definitely one of my favorite mascaras, so I would keep it if I had it. I've got these two Marc Jacobs mascaras, or one of them is a primer, the Velvet Primer, and then the Velvet Noir mascara. Definitely keeping these. I haven't opened them yet because I'm, you know, I don't like to have too many mascaras open at one time. <laughs> because as you can see, I have to get rid of a lot. So I'm really holding on to these until I've really run out. I've used this mascara in the past and absolutely love it. So I will get around to using that soon. Probably when this runs out, my Hourglass Caution mascara, it's very nearly on its last legs. And it is getting a bit old, but I've got a little bit left in it, so I'll keep that. Estee Lauder Little Black Primer. I actually really enjoyed this while I had it, but I've probably had this open for about a year. The Lancome Monsieur Big Waterproof Mascara. I did not really like the waterproof version of this. I adore the original. Again, that's one of the mascaras that's not featured here because I've run out. It's one of my favorite mascaras, but I did not like the waterproof version. I'm gonna get rid of this mini Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. It used to be one of my favorites, but I've just kind of gone off it because it flakes a lot, and I've had this open for a while. I'm um, gonna get rid of this Flower Beauty Zoom In Ultimate Mascara. This was just a bit too gimmicky for me. It's a rubber bristle brush, don't enjoy it. Gonna get rid of this Essence Need a Miracle Lash Mascara. I think, can't even remember what I think of it, but I, I have no desire to keep it. Um, I'm gonna keep this Flower Beauty Lash Warrior Mascara, because this is a brown mascara. And I don't particularly love the formula too much, but I love the color of brown that it is. It's the shade Fierce Brown. And so that's the brown mascara I've been using when I want more of a natural look. I'm gonna keep the Hamish mascara. This is a tubing mascara, so it doesn't smudge at all. And I use this a lot on my lower lashes. I'm gonna keep this Marcel fortifying and lengthening mascara. This is a new one that I just opened quite recently in Black Noir. It's actually a really nice mascara. It takes a bit to build up, but it actually looks beautiful once you've done so. Um, the Buxom Blackest Black mascara. I've had this open for so long. It's actually a really good mascara. I actually really like it, but yeah. No. The Revolution Amazing Curve Mascara. I think this was pretty average, but again, had it open for probably well over a year. Makeup Design Volume and Fiber Extension Mascara. This was pretty average from memory. That's the thing with mascara is if I like it, I will have used it a lot because if I like it, I'll keep reaching for it. But if I don't remember the last time I picked it up, it means that I don't enjoy it. <laughs> I've got this little pure fully charged mascara and this is unopened. So I'm gonna keep that because I wanna try it out. And the Essence Super Curl Volume Mascara. This I was hoping to be a dupe for the Benefit Roller Lash. It's a very similar wand and it's called like Super Curl, so Roller Lash, it's like very similar. But it just doesn't work quite as well. And I've had it open in a while, so I'm gonna get rid of that one too. So, mascaras, I got rid of so many. And I'm keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is still quite a lot, but about, Half of those are unopened and then I'm getting rid of like, I don't know, 20. <laughs> I think that is a much, much more manageable kind of amount of makeup, mascaras, eyeshadows, lashes, liners, primers, all that. Very happy. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe because I've got more declutters coming. I've got a lip product one and I also have an update on what products I've gotten rid of since filming these declutters because there's still a few products that I am moving on out. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up for me. And until next time, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.